This video is one in a series of videos that cover database topics in three themes. We look at Oracle Apex, Application Express for web applications, relational database concepts for designing and building databases, and SQL, the programming language for working with a relational database. If you want to work with the video series, you can go to this URL to get the scripts and handouts. In this video, we're going to work in the database environment, not really in APEX, but this is related to APEX 03. We're going to look at the tables that make up the relational database that was built in Oracle XCE in the previous video when we ran scripts, SQL scripts, that created tables and constraints and other objects in the database. We're going to use Oracle SQL Developer to easily import a diagram of the tables in the database. And it'll also depict the relationships between the tables. We can then save that as a PDF if we want to document what we would call the data model, how the data tables are defined and the relationships between those tables. So relationships are defined based on primary key and foreign key fields. In the next couple of videos, I'll talk a lot about primary key and foreign key fields. They are, are a cornerstone to a valid functioning relational database. So if you'll remember, if you looked at the previous video, what we did, let me get logged in here. Let me, I'll pause the video and log in as one of the developers. So I'm going to go in as, I have two developers, Mina Mendez and Mark Adams. I'm going to go in as Mark. I had an error because the workspace does not have the underscore between animal and shelter. At the database level in the schema, the account in the database, I have an underscore there. So let's try this and see if I get in. So if I go to workshops and object browser, these are the tables I see. So I can click on one of those and see how it is defined. I'm now going to switch over to SQL Developer. And I'm going to log in in the animal underscore shelter schema. So when I double click this, I did not save the password. So I'll have to type that in. And now I'm connected. I can see the same list of tables that I saw in Apex. But Better yet, I can go to File, Data Modeler, Import, Data Dictionary. And I'm going to get a graphical representation of the tables and the relationships. So I'll select this, and then I select the account I'm working with, and then click Next. And then I see other things in the database environment. I want to pick the one I'm working with, which is which is animal underscore shelter, the very first thing listed. And then I click Next. And then I get a list of the tables. I want to bring all of those in. There might be a situation where you don't want to bring everything in. As you'll see in future videos in this series, we're going to have some little tables we build that just provide valid lists uh, for drop-down selection so that people can pick an option instead of keying in some data. Uh, sometimes you want to eliminate those because they just clutter the diagram. So I'm going to click Next now that I've selected all the tables, and then I'll click Finish. And I have a graphical representation of the tables and relationships. I'm going to pause the video and rearrange these. So I want to have a document of this. I don't want to have to come in here and import again. So I will do File and Data Modeler and Print Diagram, and I will print this to a PDF. And then I'll look at this with a brief overview of the tables and relationships. I'll go into much more detail in the next two videos. Before we look at the data model or data dictionary that we got from SQL Developer, let's think about the scenario in which this database and application are being built. We have some people who are concerned about the care of animals that have been lost or abandoned, and so they wanted to start an animal shelter. 
Without the animal shelter in their local community, people would have to drive over 40 miles away to take an animal that they found uh, to put them in a shelter. So they get money to start this shelter, and when they first start the shelter, everything is being done only on paper, everything that they're trying to keep track of. The animals in the shelter, the people who work there, the volunteers, the people we'll call them clients who bring animals in that they have found or they want to take home because they want to provide a home. So everything's being done on paper and the goal now is to build a database, which we have done, that will track the animals, give information about people. People can be volunteers, employees, or clients. Information about transactions, transactions such as bringing an animal into the shelter, receiving that animal, or placing an animal to a home. So somebody comes and picks up an animal and pays a fee to take that animal home. And we also need to track information about animals that might receive vaccinations, other medical care, maybe surgery for spay and neuter, also might receive obedience training. Because initially, we will just work with dogs in this scenario, but our database can handle other types of animals in the future. And what we'll do is build a web application in Oracle Apex that will enable the employees and volunteers to easily retrieve information from the database and also enter data into the database. So let me just point out that I've never worked at an animal shelter. I'm using this scenario just to explain how a database might be designed and built and the application that works with that, the web application that uses that database. I'm making certain assumptions that might not be valid in an actual animal shelter. So this won't be fully featured. Just want you to know it's for instructional purposes only. So let me quickly step through and describe each table that we see that exists in the database. We have person person captures information that is common to all the people involved in the animal shelter. Clients who bring animals in or adopt, people who work there, and people who volunteer there. There are things those people have in common, first name, last name, contact information, such as address and phone. There are a certain subset of those people that are employees, and there are specific things we need to know about employees, so we're going to keep that in a separate table. We have the zip code table, which provides city-state information based on the zip code we have in the person table. People are involved in transactions. One is an employee, one is a client. So we have two relationships between transactions and persons. Transactions are for animals either coming into the shelter or being adopted or being transferred to another location. An animal can have activities such as medical care, vaccines, surgery, and perhaps training or grooming, and those are kept in activities. This is the database for our application. The next two videos will talk in much more detail about the relational concepts and some of the decisions that were made in building this database. Remember the naming conventions for related videos in this tutorial series. The Apex videos are 00 through 12, 14, whatever, however many videos there are. If there's a related database video, For a specific video, let's say I'm at Apex 02, then that name is going to be, for the database, is going to be Apex 02 DB, and then the number of that video series. Because for this one Apex video, I might end up having two or even three videos about the database concepts. There'll be some Apex videos that have none of these, but this is how you can access the database videos specific to that Apex video. And the same thing would go if I have Apex, let's say 03, I have something specific I want to cover in SQL. That would be SQL and 01 through SQL 
zero, three. So I would have one, two, three. All of these relating to the Apex Video zero, three. Hopefully that'll help.